Welcome to Ocean County Focus. I'm Donna Flynn, your host. Today we are talking about the recreational programs that are held throughout the 27 parks in Ocean County. Joining me today is Ocean County Commissioner Ginny Haynes. She serves as chairperson of the Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation and Mary Jane Bavais, the Assistant Director of the Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation. Thank you both so much for being here today. It's summertime. Everybody's <laughs> yes. jumping to get out of their houses and stuff. You're, you're seeing the crowds start to hit the parkway and come down to Ocean County again. And you provide an amazing service to people. You have 27 mm -hmm. beautiful parks, including two beautiful golf courses in Ocean County. Tell me how people can enjoy them. There are just, first of all, every single one of our parks is totally different of the 27, as you said, and the two golf courses. Um, they're all a, a variety, like for instance, which is one of my favorites, not my top favorite, but one of my favorites is Caddis Island Park, mm -hmm. which has a, a live, um, display of animals, fish, turtles, snakes, as well as uh, a, net, a camera that is set on the osprey nest mm -hmm. so that people can watch, as well as they can also go on their internet and they can check some of the programs that we did for when we were under COVID, that right. every single week they had a different naturalist speaking on whatever the particular animal was, talking about the whole, uh, I think they had terrapins one time that I can remember, and I think they might have had a snake, different type of snake the next time. Mm -hmm. And so there, it's not only going there, and of course the walking trails at Caddis Island Park, but just going through, seeing the live exhibits and things like that. Then you have Jake's Branch, which is, is another wonderful park and um, and it has like over 350 acres of like walking trails and there's really a great trail that you know for children at each different stop that they have it has like an animal that might be in there in the shape of it's made out of metal um, and then you have of course the John C. Bartlett Park in Berkeley Island which is on the Barnegat Bay right. I mean it has a, a beautiful pavilion and it has barbecue and people can just go there and take a lawn chair and just sit and read in the shade or they can sit in the sun um, and just look at the beautiful you know Barnegat Bay and then we have I mean I could go on and on but we have so many different parks right. all with a different type theme mm -hmm. more or mm -hmm. less you could say mm -hmm. that we're very very lucky here in Ocean County but I'm sure Mary Jane could really <laughs> go into a little bit more in depth of the things that we have at the park. Well Ocean County is set up really nicely with its park system though mm -hmm. because we each, again as you had mentioned we could go through all 27 exactly. and each of their unique features who's got a dog park who's got you know open you know various uh, sports sporting areas and that sort of thing people like to really get almost involved in the Ocean County Park system you could see that Mary and okay. um, I think people want to know some of the more you know how do how do you how do you get to have a picnic at an Ocean County Park or you know is there something I can rent can I have a party for my five-year-old and how exactly do people go about doing that absolutely we are open for anybody's uh, activities that they choose mm -hmm. to do we we uh, we have weddings and photo sessions and picnics and you can rent any one of our pavilions that we have and have a great picnic if, if it's over 25 people. Mm -hmm. If you're a small crowd, if the three of us wanted to go out and just have a, a picnic dinner, um, we have areas throughout our 27 parks that you could come, enjoy, sit down, you know, at a picnic table. There's plenty of grills, but you can do a nice reservation. We've had family reunions and, you know, class reunions and, and they rent the, the different areas, anywhere from Patriots Park, Robert J. Miller Air Park. Uh, we have a new pavilion down in Manahawk and at Paul King. Mm -hmm. And of course, Berkeley Island has one of our most popular parks, has uh, a nice pavilion there. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Ocean County Park, we could fit 600 people in Ocean County Park. Wow. So, mm -hmm. you know, and they're very popular. It's a nominal fee. Mm -hmm. You can also obtain a beer and wine permit for your activities. and. Mm -hmm. Do you have yeah. waiting lists? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes we do. I, I advise people, we start taking reservations in March and uh -huh. um, we, we have a line out the door sometimes. Really? So, you know, every weekend people really want to have their activities. Um, but there's a lot of picnics on a Thursday night, you know, just groups getting together right. and, you know, making the reservations. So I tell people get in early and get that mm -hmm. reservation, especially at our pavilions. We'll provide this phone number. What's a phone yes. number? What, who do they call they to do that? They can call so they can obtain that on mm -hmm. uh, oceancountyparks.org. All the information um, 
for all of our programs. And we'll talk about uh, the number that they can call is 732-506-9090, mm -hmm. and that's our main headquarters, mm -hmm. which is um, right here in Tom's River on Yellow Bank. So right. any of our parks will take a reservation for them, um, you know, for whatever park they choose. Mm -hmm. As part of summertime, everybody likes to go swimming. What about swimming at Ocean County Parks? Okay, well, we have two areas that mm -hmm. people can swim. One is in Lakewood at Ocean County Park or a Polk King Park. But unfortunately, we uh, were not able to get lifeguards to uh -oh. cover the uh, beach area, the lake in Ocean County Park okay. this year, so that will not have mm -hmm. um, anyone there. That won't be open for swimming. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have an A. Paul King Park, which is in Manahawk, and on Route 72, we will have, uh, as Mary Jane just mentioned, there's a pavilion there, and they have you know grills and things. It's a person, you know, family can make a full day of it. Right. They could go there and they could enjoy the swimming, relaxing on the the beach there, and of course have you know lunch, dinner, whatever they want to do, and mm -hmm. just enjoy being you know, at, at the Jersey Shore, you know. Yeah, I was just, actually, that, it's funny, because I was just thinking of that as a question, is how does the county park system interact with all the waterways and stuff that are in Ocean County? I mean, you know, growing up in Hudson County, when you had a park, it wasn't surrounded by Barnegat Bay. It was just, it was a city area. It was a city right. city block, really. Right. But how do you guys take advantage of that? Oh, we try to take advantage of all of it because that is why we are called Ocean County. Right. You figure a lot of <laughs> Ocean County is on the Atlantic Ocean, mm -hmm. and a lot of Ocean County is on the Barnegat Bay, the Tom River, um, then you go on into Brick and the Batita Conk. I mean, there's just a lot of different waterways that we are. So, of course, we try to do that, and we try to encompass wherever park that might be there, like Caddis Island. I think that also mm -hmm. you could walk through that with yes. your lakes, and go you're right going to see, right. go right out to the beach there right. in Caddis Island, mm -hmm. so, and things. And, of course, then there's different programs that the park sponsors, like I think you have in our brochures that we put up with uh, kayaking. I mean, they kayaking, get canoes. canoeing. Lake Shenandoah, which mm -hmm. is in Lakewood. It's mm -hmm. off of, it's off of either Clover Street or New Hampshire Avenue or Route 88. You can into Lake, Lake Shenandoah. Right. Right. They have fields there. Mm -hmm. They have picnic areas there. They have um, people that can go, they can go fishing there. They can go and canoeing and kayaking, whatever they like. So that is one park that's you know, we have two that are in Ocean County, and right. excuse me, in Lakewood. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, we're ve we take advantage wherever we have water. We will take advantage of it so that the people why they come here right. for many right. different reasons, but they come to Ocean County right. for what we're able to provide in recreation. With with kayaking and canoeing and that sort of thing, Mary, are are the kayaks and canoes provided? Do I have to bring my own stuff? How does that work exactly? So, so if you want to take a canoe out. You can come down to Wells Mills and we rent canoes down there. Mm -hmm. Kayaking tours, we provide them, we provide the canoes. And same thing, you can, mm -hmm. if you've never canoed before, we'll teach you a basic canoe class nice. so you can learn. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, as, as far as the waterways, we, we take people out all, all along the Silver Bay mm -hmm. and Barnegat Bay on kayak estuary tours. Mm -hmm. That's part of Caddis Island oh, nice. programming. And um, other places will do, you know, moonlight floats where, you know, it's very mild paddling and you, you're experiencing with a naturalist, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, 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 you know, all of the nature that, that is surrounding these areas, mm -hmm. right, which right. it is, you know, especially in the Barnegat Bay, mm -hmm. it's a mecca for birds and, you know, right. so we'll do some ornithology tours and things like that. But yeah, it's all available. We also do some seining programs. Mm -hmm. So you'll learn, kids will learn of exists, yeah. what, what fish are in, and crabs and everything in the Barnegat Bay. What a so, great environmental right, experience, really. We have the, pl really. the platoon boat that goes right. out, out of Parks Administration. Mm -hmm. right. where and it is. And we were which, going to take a quick break, and I wanted to talk okay. about that as soon Very as we good. come it's, back. We're going to be right back here on Ocean County Focus. Hi, I'm Freeholder Ginny Haynes. Join me on this tour of some of Ocean County's premier park sites.
Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation has something for everyone. Try us out. You won't be disappointed. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home and a special place to visit. And welcome back to Ocean County Focus. Joining me today is Ocean County Commissioner Ginny Haynes. She serves as chairwoman of the Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation and Mary Jane Bavais, the assistant director of the department. Thank you both so much again for being here. When we went to break, we were talking about just the ability of Ocean County to tap into the amazing environment. I mean, the parks in itself is 4,000 acres of open space that are just beautiful mm -hmm. environmental gems, but you also have the opportunity to tap into the Barnegat Bay and the river and our estuaries and that sort of thing. And I know one program that has been something that you, you've you often talked about is the um, pontoon boats yes. and the fact that you give everyone the opportunity to see what is it like on the bay or the estuaries. Tell me about that program. Yeah, well, very, well, we had to get a new boat a couple of years ago and it took about a year to get it because mm -hmm. the other one's sort of worn out. So we got a new boat. But I mean, the one thing that we offer and it's at a nominal fee for the, we have early morning tours, we have lunch tours or just, you know, tours. Then we have evening tours with a dinner tour or just in it depends on the type of tour that you sign up for that mm -hmm. you want to go on. And it just goes around and it'll explain like whether it's going to be about the the, the, whether it's the different birds or the different um, wildlife that you might see around there because it does go around, it comes out of uh, park administration, it goes part of sort of the back end of Caddis Island. Right, right. But I mean, it's, it's, it's something that I think anybody who is interested and in, if they just want to go on a pontoon boat right, and just right. Take and a just ride. Enjoy themselves. They yes. would probably say, "Wow, this is really nice." Yeah. I never I would have an opportunity to go out on, you know, this, you know, out towards the bay again or anything right. like that. So I mean, it's, it gives an opportunity for people to do what, you know, especially those that are bird watchers, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. if they would like to. Uh, I know Mary Jane knows the proper term to use, but um, <laughs> we were just discussing exactly. That. <laughs> but um, you know, t you know, the many things that you're able to see. Um, so I think it's it's just something that we are able to. Up, up, for the opportunity for people to go to uh, this one park, but then to expand out onto the water to mm -hmm. go and see the many, just a whole different variety of, of things that we are, that are out there. Right. You know, for the people that they, they normally wouldn't see driving down Route 37 oh, or uh, Hooper Avenue, which is really such a nice opportunity, and I don't think people realize this, exactly. you know as much. Again, we were chatting during the break, and and I was saying that I, I went through the newsletter from Parks and Recreation, and I was. I, I, and I I've been here for a long time, and it's amazing the number of programs that that is offered by the county for recreation. Um, going back to the pontoon boats again, do I have to register for that? Can I just show up? How does that work, Mary? Yes, I, I would suggest you register. We um, they're offered right now all the way through the summer up until the fall, um, and you can mm -hmm. easily you know send in a check or money order payable to the county. How many people can, can be seated Usually on the about boats? twenty four people can be on the boat. Okay. Uh, we have you know captain, licensed captain, mm -hmm. usually you know a mate, which uh, a lot of times is a naturalist right. to point out the osprey mm -hmm. flying overhead or the egrets off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, so you get that extra special uh, part of the tour mm -hmm. along the way. And um, but yes, you can register with us. It's uh, like I said, nominal fees. Mm -hmm. for the t twilight tours, early m ornithology tours. <laughs> and, uh, that would be the bird. Or, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I learned that today. <laughs> That's, it's, it, just, it just sounds like such a nice, relaxing program. It is. It is. Um, and again, just, you know, there's so many of them that, and, and, and I have the newsletter here, and I know that you can get the Parks and Recreation newsletter from you know, your website and stuff, and there really are amazing programs. I know another thing that you're very proud of um, are the golf courses yes. that, are, that fall under the Ocean County Department of Parks and Recreation. Two golf courses, one Northern County, one Southern exactly. County. Tell me about that. Well, the one in Northern part of the county is in Brick, uh, right on Chambersbridge Road, Forge Pond. That is a par 72 course. Um, I think, and I've played, I haven't played it in a while, but I have played it. To me, it's a narrow course. I like it, right. um, but it, it's a great course. I get a lot of people that I run into or they call or email saying it's a great course. And the cost is, it's really not very expensive mm -hmm. uh, to go. And it, it's for residents or non-residents. Okay. Of course, the fee is a little bit different, mm -hmm. but I mean, uh, it's there seven days a week. 
Um, and we, they can walk or they can ride in a car, whichever. And of course, then in the southern part of the county, um, which um, is Atlantis, mm -hmm. which is like an executive course. And mm -hmm. of course, then there's a restaurant right there, right. the uh, Cuisine on the Green, mm -hmm. so that if they want to go out and grab lunch beforehand or grab lunch after or grab dinner after, they, they're able to do that. But it's another beautiful course that we mm -hmm. have, again, uh, very reasonable prices for people to go and it's for residents or non-residents because mm -hmm. we have a lot as we've talked about earlier we have a lot of people that come to Ocean County sure, you know sure. in the summertime mm -hmm. and a lot of the people like to go and just do a day of golf or right. maybe the whole weekend they want to spend golfing and that's what we try to do is provide something different for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mary, um, since COVID have you seen a change in play on the golf courses? Have they been busier or absolutely. not as busy? Or absolutely, mm -hmm. um, the golf courses was one of the one of the areas. Um, just in general, our parks mm -hmm. were flooded with people who wanted to get outside. Mm -hmm. But the the golf course is busier. Or um, we, we've just a lot of people want to be outside mm -hmm. during this does, time. Does Parks and Recreation provide, or can you sign up for golf lessons through yes, Parks and Recreation? Yes, we do offer okay. golf lessons. Mm -hmm. um, we usually have a golf pro come in, and they could sign up for lessons. Um, that's something per, you know that we do provide mm -hmm. throughout the year, actually, mm -hmm. at different times. So. Mm -hmm. Um, they could sign up for those lessons and learn. We mm -hmm. a lot of the school groups also use right. the courses. Um, you know, they're their home course because mm -hmm. the school provides golf now, and we're mm -hmm. happy to work with them. To uh, their future, they're our future. Right. They're Absolutely. our future players. Yes, exactly. So exactly. Uh, yeah, but very popular. You can go online mm -hmm. and you can sign up for a tea time right online mm -hmm. through OceanCountyParks.org. Well, we're still talking about that physical activity out there: pickleball and tennis. Oh, yes. Do we have those? Yes, we do. We have um, pickleball courts, and I know it's in Tip Seaman Park, which is in Tuckerton, along mm -hmm. with tennis. Mm -hmm. And then I know we have tennis at Ocean County Park. And pickleball, too. And pickleball yeah. also. So they're and the Jake's two. Branch. And Jake's Branch. And Very of course, popular our in new, the last few years, right? You know, we're also going to be doing a 28th Park, which is in Manchester, right. which one of the things planned, it's going to be a couple of years before the park is you know, completed, but uh, that will also have a pickleball court, you know, mm -hmm. for people, because it seems like that is an one type of a game that is becoming very, very, very popular. Mm -hmm. um, no matter where you go in the United States, it seems people are playing pickleball. Right. So that's what we're also, again, trying to provide what we possibly can do for the residents and for the people that visit, mm -hmm. you know, all the opportunities that they can, you know, would like to do when they're on vacation or just living here. Right, yeah, no, it seems to me that that was one of the things. I remember actually people coming before the board um, requesting mm -hmm. pickleball and it was sort of like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> and then it became very, very trendy and very popular. Exactly. So it's really all yes. over the place. So it's great that the county offers that also. Um, we have about a minute left in this segment and I just wanted to touch quickly on the Carousel of Music, a very popular yes. um, Ocean, uh, you know, Ocean County summer program. Tell me about that. Yes, in fact, I know that it's back, well, first it's, we have it every Every year and Frank Hughes is uh, one of the conductors for one of the groups that normally plays um, and it was held um, last year and I'm not sure if it was the previous year at the Parks Administration which right. of course is right there on the on the water but then we're finally back in the Carousel of Music when it's holding the different concerts in Tom Zerber it's going to be at the Ocean County Library okay um, and it's usually I know the one I know that I will be going to is on July 7th mm -hmm. um, it's going to the Carousel of Music and Frank Hughes who is the um, He's been involved with the Carousel Music since he was a sophomore in high school. Wow. So it's been 50 some years, he happened to mention last year. Mm -hmm. So it's, but we try to provide different types of music around the county mm -hmm. uh, for the people, you know, for the, it's just enjoyable. It's outside, they can come, whether it's gonna be a Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, whatever night it's going to be. Um, and it's, you could just go and bring a chair and sit down and just listen to the music. And then if you're someplace where they have a restaurant, if you're downtown Tom's River, right. you can go down to one of the restaurants because you know the street is closed off mm -hmm. um, for, you know, for the summertime. So, I mean, it's, it's a, a great thing to do with the carousel music. And we have had that, I'm not sure the number of years that we've been doing carousel music, because I know it was started under Franklin Fisher. Franklin Fisher, right, right. And then they, so, and then, yeah, it's, so it's, uh, it's probably been thirty. And we get new bands and thirty old or forty bands years and, that they've been doing mm -hmm. the carousel music. So it's a very, very popular. Um, another events that we we provide mm -hmm. for the people of Ocean County. It does. It sounds wonderful. And we're actually going to take another quick break, though, and we're going to be right back here on Ocean County Focus. The 
Ocean County Board of Chosen Freeholders, working to make Ocean County a better place to live and a better place to visit. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home and a special place to visit. And welcome back. Um, you know, when we went to the break before, we were talking about um, Carousel of Music and the various mm -hmm. programs that the county has. And, and out of 27 parks, it's really difficult to just pick one because there's so many things going yes. on, especially throughout the summer, but I'm gonna try. And I'd like to try with the John C. Bartlett Jr. County Park because this was, um, of course, you're, you're right on the bay and this is home to the county spray park. So let's talk a little bit about that spray park. Well, it's our first spray park. Mm -hmm. um, um, so we're very, very happy with that. It's very, very popular. I know the, the freeholders slash commissioners, um, before they did it, I mean, there was a lot of uh, talk about whether they wanted to do it or not. And this before I came on board, but um, they did it and it is so popular. And it's like a great thing. It's all these animals that are made out of metal and they, and it's this particular area and the water comes up, whether it's coming up from the ground, well, it all comes up from the ground and coming up and then however it comes out of the animals mm -hmm. and then it sprays and you know the kids and they just love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, we're hoping to put one um, when we are gonna be expanding April King Park down in Manhattan. Oh, okay. So we're hoping to be able to put a spray park, you know, mm -hmm. down there also. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it's just great. And of course, John C. Bartlett Park, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's right there on, you know, on the Barnegat Bay mm -hmm. and just, Everything about that park is just, it provides something for everyone. They can right. fish, they can sit and read, they can have a picnic, they can have a family outing, you know, with reunion, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. They can just um, walk around if they just want to come and get a walk or whatever they want to do. It's like a perfect park and it's a very crowded park. It right. gets very, very busy. Um, but that's a great park is probably one of the good reasons why it's yeah. so popular. Yeah, it's a wonderful balance of, you know, that leisure activity yes. and that more, you know, more again with the with the spray park and mm -hmm. stuff a little bit more active activity and being right on the bay is is pretty exactly. much an amazing amazing place to be mary I, I wanted to talk to you about some of the actual events that are going to be held there this sure. summer um one is a, a it seems like a, it's a pretty popular event that had been held down at caddis for i guess a number of years and it had been called beach ball of palooza but tell us what it is now so and now? when it is okay so. now it is we we decided to kind of move it down it originated actually at Berkeley Island and after Sandy we moved it back we okay. had to move it out of there with the redevelopment so we wanted to move it back and we renamed it the beach ball blast because it is a blast it's a celebration of summer mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna have a uh, you know a trop rock band uh, Jimmy and the parrots and he he's great fun it's all that tropical fun music and activities for the kids sandcastle building competitions and um, you know the the crafts and you know just activities um, you know, some food, people can bring their own picnic, you know, room for dancing, room for fun. They can play bocce, horseshoes, cornhole, uh, you know, giant twister game, and uh, we have a giant chess game. So we'll have it all out there for everybody. It sounds to like a great time. Enjoy. When is it this going to be it's gonna, it's gonna be, yes, <laughs> July 22nd. It it's, gonna, <laughs> it's a great time. I hope, we hope to see everybody out there that evening. Um, and uh, the other thing that we are doing is every Thursday all throughout the summer at one o'clock mm -hmm. you can come down sit down bring the kids we do kids activities every day magicians sing-alongs with Yossi uh, all free charge right. all of this is free of charge right right yeah. that sounds like a great idea too it I is. mean again summertime once you start to get into summer it's sort of like well what are we going to do now and I think Ocean County Parks really provides such a great opportunity yeah. to respond to that question it's like I'm just very proud of what we, not, it's not just me, Ginny Haynes, that has been able to go and do this. It's the, the rest of the commissioners have all agreed and they have to go and say, yes, we're going to do this in a particular park because right. there's always a cost right. whenever right. we're going to be building a new park or changing a park or adding on to a park, there's a cost to it. So I have to thank them. But I mean that we try to listen to the people mm -hmm. of Ocean County because they've come up with suggestions to us. And of course, we, I always talk with Mary Jane, of course, Mike Magnum, the director of parks to see is this something that you feel we could do right. but we that's why we're always looking to make sure that we're providing the type of things that people like so that when they come to ocean county or they live here in ocean county they can go to any one of our 
27 parks mm -hmm. or golf courses and just totally enjoy themselves, whatever their desire may be. Now, you also have opportunity, recreational opportunities for your four-legged uh, residents. Tell me a little oh, bit about yes, the dog parks. Oh, yes, yes, we have um, two dog parks, or three dog three parks. Three dog parks. Excuse me, I forgot <laughs> that we, we have <laughs> one that's in Lakewood. I think that might have been our first one. Mm -hmm. And the second one is at Miller Air Park. And then the third one is in Patriots Park. Is no, Lake, no, it's not, is that Freedom, Patriots? Freedom. Freedom Fields Park. Patriots Park is yep. in Jackson. Um, and that's at Freedom Fields, which is new. It's only so been really there about a year. The whole county so we're trying to cover. We got northern, central, and then southern part of the county, mm -hmm. and of course, um, at Patriots Park. I mean, it's a, it, that's another park that provides everything. That's in Little Lake Harbor Township. Um, so it, it, it's very, very well received. Right. I mean, uh, the people, of course, there's certain requirements mm -hmm. that a person has to have, which Mary Jane might want to get into a little bit more, right. I so that to... people understand, you know, mm -hmm. what they need to do in order to just. To bring their dog there but I know when we did the um, opening of the one down in uh, Freedom Fields um, it was I know one of the people that works for the county had brought his two uh, Labradoodles mm -hmm. and they're beautiful dogs and they just had a ball yep. the whole time they were there so maybe you just you want think. to expand on the requirements sure of what they people have uh, to all do. have to be spayed neutered um, and licensed in their town mm -hmm. so they have to have their rabies shots it's a small fee of five dollars and that gives them a yearly permit to use any one of the three facilities that we have mm -hmm. so it's that easy they can come to the county connection come to any one of our you know jake's branch or um, parks administration office to register mm -hmm. get a little card and they're they're there to go and open mm -hmm. clean up after your dog that's all we ask right right so they it's a very social not just for the dogs for for the people right right you know, people meet yeah. Get married, dogs meet, become friends. <laughs> it's a great opportunity for people to get out and have fun with their pets. Right. Don't yeah, we also have wonderful. like for small dogs and then bigger small dog dogs. area, large dog, dog area, area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. keeps them apart. We have yeah. one minute left. What's the value of all of this? The value is it's people being able to leave home, leave their homes, or come here and visit and go to an area that is going to provide a recreation, whatever they may enjoy. And it's outside to just enjoy the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful Ocean County, the smell of whether it's the ocean, the bay, whatever it may be, and then just whatever their desire is. They can just go to any of the parks and whether they wanna play soccer with their kids at one of the parks or they wanna play tennis, go fishing, kayak, whatever it may be. They have many parks to choose from, from the northern part of Ocean County to the western part of Ocean County to the southern part of Ocean County and the eastern part of Ocean County. Um, that's why I consider our parks department is the best in the state of New Jersey. And I think that's why where parks are usually filled and people just are constantly getting in touch with our parks department to go and um, all right, what else is new? Or they won the copy of the newsletter, whatever it may be, right. so they can know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We're well, very, very lucky here in Ocean County. Sounds like a wonderful opportunity for everyone. So let's hope uh, you know we, we invite more people to our exactly. parks then. And I want to thank you both for being here today. Thank and you. I want to thank you for being here on Ocean County Focus. You take care. We'll see you soon. When it comes to getting around Ocean County, Ocean Ride is ready to serve you. Hi, I'm Freeholder Gary Quinn. Ocean Ride is a service of the Ocean County Board of Chosen Freeholders that provides a host of transportation alternatives to Ocean County residents. If you need to get to a doctor, if you want to take a trip to the shopping mall, or if you rely on public transportation to get to work, we have the solution for you. For more information on Ocean Ride services and bus schedules, call 732-736-8989, extension 4, or visit our website. Try Ocean Ride. We'll get you where you need to go.